All right, so there's a separate module that discusses uh, just the basics of family law or divorce proceedings. Now, one section within family law, which is family courts or family law typically, is uh, child custody and child support. This is kind of a separate topic because uh, sometimes those are handled a little bit differently. So child custody and child support are typically handled within the county where you live um, in the court systems. Now, some courts actually have separate divisions, departments, what have you, that only deal with child support or even with custody of your children during a divorce. So you have to check with your county where you're located or you filed the case or the other side filed the case for uh, divorce or separation or custody and uh, determine, okay, what is the procedure? What court is used here in this county or the city uh, for child custody or child support. If there's a special division, they may handle a child support case for you. Uh, there are some cases where they do that, or you can do it on your own through a separate process. So, and you obviously have to determine, okay, do I want to not have to pay anything and have these people represent me and go after someone for child support? But understanding it's still a governmental agency or a free agency or however it is set up in the local area that isn't always going to be pushing maybe necessarily for everything you're looking for. Um, so you have to figure out, OK, it, is there another pro? What are the different options that I have? Is there some someone who does this for me or does it for a low cost? Do I have to do it myself? Do I have the option to go either way? So once you did make that determination, Child support and child custody come down to usually state law is the overall uh, concern first, and state law determines, okay, what rights does each person have, whether you're married or not? Um, is there a paternity issue? Do you need to prove paternity? How is paternity proven? You have to figure all this stuff out um, ahead of time. Now, if you want to hire an attorney, then you want to talk to a family law attorney who deals with child custody and child support in your local county, in that courthouse. Like I've said in the family law video, your each courthouse and each judge and department sometimes runs things differently. So there might be this specific judge you get assigned to that might not be the best person to make this decision. And you may be stuck with them. You might have the option, you're, if an attorney can come in and switch judges, uh, that is sometimes possible. So, you know, sometimes it's worth hiring an attorney to help you with that process, because if you're stuck with a certain judge that's biased against you, or, you know, if you're single dad or single mom or some other reason, there could be a potential bias because it does happen. Uh, then you might want to look at trying to figure out to hire an attorney to help you with that to get a better outcome. Uh, and in some cases, child support, your attorney's fees, uh, some courts in some states will allow the other side, you basically to force the other side to pay if you don't have an ability to pay your attorney. So you may be able to get an attorney for free, basically. So I wanna make sure you've re researched all of this on how things work in my specific county so that you know what your options are. So if you decide to hire someone, it's gonna be probably not a flat fee. Sometimes they do, but usually child support and child custody can take a long time. They're going to probably charge hourly and it's going to start adding up because they're going to be sitting through hearings and, you know, they can't necessarily show up at one and a case starts at one. They might be scheduled for one and it doesn't start till three. They have to sit there for two extra hours and bill you for their time. And it's $150, $200, $300, $500 an hour. Just depends on the attorney you hire and what the market is where you're located. Now, um, if there's someone who will advocate for you for low cost or free and try to get you some child support payments, you probably should try that option first. Um, and when it comes to custody, there are certain rules, there's case law, there's arguments that can be made on either side. So it can start getting a little complex to try to get the best benefits. Uh, but courts do have processes set up to deal with, you know, how do we deal with custody or support when it comes to kids? Sometimes the rules are automatic. You can make all the arguments you want. There's nothing you can do. So you have to understand the law first and how it procedurally works and say, okay, what is the cost or benefit of hiring an attorney? It's going to cost me 10 grand. 
the other side can pay for it under the law. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll hire someone for no cost. Or I'm going to be spending $30,000 potentially. And, you know, it's going to make a difference of, there's a calculator that determines child support, let's say, in this jurisdiction. So unless I can argue what my income is or something, um, maybe it'll make a difference of $50 a month that I just spent $30,000 on. So maybe that's not worth uh, hiring someone. So get a consultation with a local family law attorney. Say, hey, what arguments can you make? How realistic is it? Not just don't let them just sell you that, oh, yeah, I'll go in and represent you. How often do you see someone make this argument and win? OK, I want 100 percent custody. That's unrealistic, no matter what state you're in, um, unless there is domestic violence or they're in prison or there's some extreme circumstance. Uh, you're probably not going to get because that's pretty common. People come in and they say, I just want 100 percent custody and 100 percent of the time. And most of the time that never works out that way. So you have to be reasonable and realistic and understand this person is still a parent of this child. So we need to figure out a way to co-parent together. Um, and, you know, if there's arguments or, you know, safety issues, things like that, then yeah, go ahead and bring those up. Uh, and you probably need an attorney if there's, if there's some kind of like a serious safety issue that's not clear, you probably need an attorney to make the arguments for you because something else I meant, mentioned in the other family law video is emotion, especially when you're dealing with kids. Uh, you know, I went through a divorce and represented myself for part of it, uh, but hired an attorney when it came to certain things for hearings because, you know, when you're sitting there, you have a certain argument you want to make, but someone says something, emotion takes over and you forget what you were going to say, you don't make the right argument and you lose. So you have to be cautious and make sure you have someone who's going to be completely neutral. The emotion's not going to come into what arguments they make because you hired them as your attorney. So that's one of the other pros of hiring an attorney for that type of case. Um, so those you really have to research. I can't give you a decision one way or the other. You have to research what options you have. Uh, what is the cost and the benefits of it? Is it worth $2,000, $5,000, $15,000? because there's a safety concern or there's arguments that I need to make that I need an attorney to make these because they're kind of complex and I don't understand them. So make sure you understand all of that when you're going in and figure out how do they determine child support? Is there a separate agency that's just going to automatically do this? So it's not worth me wasting my money. Just let them figure it out. And I'm kind of stuck with it. Talk to an attorney, get a consultation. Uh, maybe you pay for an hour of their time, or maybe they'll give you a free consultation. But make sure you ask them, how often you go to this court? Do you know this judge? How often do they you know, rule in favor of um, sole custody or 50-50 custody? Or how do they figure that out? Is it you know, timeshare? Is it a calculation? Like in Cal California, there's a calculator you can look up online for child support determinations. Child custody is a lot of times based on certain standardized uh, rules that people typically follow. So the judges a lot of times have guidelines that they use. So that's one other thing to, to look at too, is find out that judge, maybe talk to their clerk or research what judicial guidelines are for custody in your area. Maybe the clerk will say, hey, I work with judge so-and-so all the time. Usually what they'll do is 50-50 or They'll do uh, two and three, like two days off, two days, three days on, two days off, three days on, uh, switching back and forth. So there's a lot of complex issues to think about. Uh, and representing yourself is a little difficult, mostly based on the emotion. Uh, but again, look at your options, see whether the cost is worth uh, the benefits that you might be getting out of it.